Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider pre-build for the Canary channel, which is the build 27928. And as I've said in the previous video about the Canary channel, we now have a new release branch. You may notice it here. This is BR underscore release. And that is coming from Bromine, which is basically a new release branch for the Canary channel. This means that Microsoft is, of course, preparing for a next version of Windows 11, most likely next year. And it should be the version 2680. H2, but of course we have little to no information right now only that the release branch was changed and we now are on bromine and of course for a while i think the canary channel will be quite boring because no new features will be added but hopefully very soon we'll have new and exciting features that will tie maybe to the next windows 11 version in this video of course also we're going to talk about this build what is new what has changed and also what is fixed and if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video as microsoft stated some new features may temporarily be disabled. One example would be the new battery iconography that was temporarily disabled in this kind of build. If you are on a laptop, you may notice that. Also, Microsoft is announcing again that they've moved more time and language settings from the control panel to the new settings app. And you may notice all these settings here inside time and date and also inside language and region. Microsoft also specified these on the previous build, but of course, these are still a thing in this build. We have a lot of fixes in this build. For example, a general fix. They fixed an underlying issue with DAO360.dl in the latest builds, which could result in some apps crashing. Also related to the File Explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue where File Explorer preview windows might appear when hovering over unrelated app icons in the taskbar. And they also fix an issue where if you try to use the unblock open in properties for a file, it still shows as blocked when you open properties for the next time. Also related to the taskbar, fix an issue where if you accidentally clicked down and slid your mouse on the taskbar preview thumbnail, clicking it would stop working. Related to input, they fix an underlying issue related to text input framework.dll which could result in certain apps like sticky notes and notepad crashing. And they also fix an issue where if you attempted to type Chinese with an IME after copying something with Control plus C, it could result in the first character getting dropped. Related to login and lock screen, Microsoft did some work to address underlying cases which could lead to you seeing a blank white screen or a screen seeing just a moment for a few minutes when logging into your PC. And they also did some work to address an issue which could lead to the taskbar being slow to load when unlocking your PC after coming out of sleep. This issue could have also led to the password field and other login screen contents not rendering when transitioning from lock screen to login screen after sleep. Related to live captions, they fix an issue if you change the opacity of live captions in settings, accessibility, captions, and then caption style. It had no effect. They also fix an issue related to settings where it might have crashed if you attempted to add a security key under settings, accounts, and then sign in options. In another fix, they fix an issue in the previous build where you might see multiple error pop-ups about unexpected elements when opening the group policy editor. Let's check again because they've done this already and it wasn't fixed properly, I think now it is fixed properly. Also two new known issues in this build, launching CMD non elevated from the run dialog may open in Windows console host rather than Windows terminal, even if Windows terminal is your default terminal app. If you're experiencing this, you can type WT into run to run Windows terminal directly. And also related to windowing, you may experience an increase in DWM crashes in this build, which could lead to you seeing a black flash. So this is basically the latest build for the Canary channel with the new release branch, Bromine and the build 27928. For more information, of course, you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Jumanu from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.